in this section we are going to learn something called curve widening or otherwise we are calling it pavement widening so when traveling on curves vehicles accommodate more width than they travel on straight road so if you look at this image uh, this is the center line of the road this magenta color lines are the center line of the uh, travel vehicle so this vehicle is traveled along a center line in this lane so this white line and this red line or the center line is a lane and this is the center of that lane and after that we have the hard shoulder so usually the vehicles are expected to run inside the lane so but we will look at how it is going to happen when the when a vehicle is traveling on a curve especially a heavy vehicle so here this vehicle is traveling now these tracks uh, tires are inside the lane so you will see what happens when it comes inside the curve so these outside tires are going outside the lane so this is the lane this area is the lane but the outside tires are going out of the lane it is inside the hard shoulder sometimes it may go outside the hard shoulder also so in that case what we need is we need to increase the width of the lane so that the full width of the vehicle will be accommodated inside the uh, lane of the road so this is called this increased width inside these curves are called the curve widening or else the pavement widening so this is also called travel way widening because we are widening the travel way there is some other widening called uh, side distance widening it will be used when uh, the side distance obstruct by a object in the road so we call we widen the widening the road we call it side distance widening but in this case what we do is travel way widening which is uh, increasing the width of the road inside curves so this is specially used for heavy vehicles as you saw in that example light vehicles such as car or vans will not be affected by the curve uh, radius but for large vehicles like trucks or buses they might go outside the lane when they are getting the uh, curves when they are traveling on the curves especially for sharper curves so this travel way widening depends on four factors they are radius of curve and width of the lane in straight section uh, straight section means that straight sections we don't have any widening so we consider that normal lane width of a straight section in the vehicle characteristics such as design vehicle or what kind of vehicle they are and the parts uh, connected to that vehicle so if you consider about a truck you have a uh, front part and a rear part so depending on the vehicle characteristics the widening may be different so we need to uh, define the widening for the uh, design vehicle we learn what is design vehicle in the earlier lectures so we have to uh, design or we have to uh, think about or think about or we have to assign widening on curves according to the design vehicle then the last one is lateral clearance between two vehicles because when a vehicle is traveling on a curve and another vehicle coming on inside other side of the curve or otherwise if this vehicle is overtaking another vehicle there may be a small gap between two vehicles when the overtaking is taken place uh, usually in straight sections this gap is 
little bit low but in curved section the drivers maintain more gap to have more safer uh, overtaking or uh, traversing movement inside the curve so this is the table or this is the values defined in rda guidelines for curve widening usually curve widening is a very expensive thing you because you have to widen the pavement or the widening the uh, lanes to accommodate this vehicle paths so usually if this widening with is less than 0.6 meter we ignore that widening so we don't widen in that if the widening is greater than 0.6 meters we will be widening the road so in this table you have the amount of widening according to the radius of the curve and according to the width of the lane we actually width of the uh, total lane width i mean this 6.2 meter means 3 point into one direction and 3 point into other direction likewise so depending on that data these widening values are defined for example if your radius is 140 and if your uh, design speed is 30 and your lane width is 3.1 meter so you will be having a 0.8 meter uh, widening width so that is how to get the widening values so if you have a lane width in between these values you can use interpolation then about the application of curve widening how the curve widening is placed because on straight sections you have one lane width if you have a curve widening inside the curves you have another lane width so this lane width have to be uh, positioned inside the curves as well as in the straight section so how this widening is application is described here on simple curves without spirals widening should be placed on the inside edge of the pavement usually we are placing the widening in the inside edge of the pavement because that is the side where the heavy vehicles going outside the curve so in curve widening will be attained gradually over a length to sufficient to make the whole carriage way fully usable so this curve widening will be obtained so if the straight section lane width is 3.5 and inside the curve with curve widening if the lane width is 4 meter so 3.5 to 4 meter width will be gradually attained inside the uh, travel way otherwise it, the carriageway won't be fully usable if you suddenly increase the uh, width of the lane it, the other part would not be is uh, usable so instead of that what we do is we are gradually increasing the width of the road from one width to the other width so this widening will be attained usually over the super elevation development lane but if you can use shorter lanes they can also be used so usually these widths are changed which are changed in within a distance of 60, 30 meter to 60 meter so that is about widening of uh, horizontal curves then we will be looking at something called lateral clearance clearance so this thing is used to uh, have the proper side distance requirement on the road so to meet the side distance requirement of a road that road should be free of lateral obstructions lateral obstructions means the obstruction at the outside edge of the curve where it will be where that object will be uh, disturbing the side distance of the vehicles so these obstructions may be man-made structures or natural obstructions so when you are traveling on a curve 
if you have a house inside edge of the closer to the inside edge of the road you cannot see the other part of the curve because of the house so it obstruct the side distance on the other hand if there is a larger rock closer to the inside edge of the road still that will be disturbing your side distance so these obstructions would be placed in a distance where this the side distance is not obstructed so if if they cannot be uh, removed or if there is a natural obstruction sometimes we may not be able to move that obstruction so in that case we have to redesign or move our horizontal alignment so that it will not be a obstruction to sight so we have to think about that uh, when you are designing if the lateral clearance are not there so in here we will be looking at a situation we obstruct the sight distance so in this top one you have set of shops or a uh, uh, mer merchant area where the side distance will be obstruct inside the curve here this is a straight section then you are getting a curve here this is a straight section same section without these obstructions we will see how the things happening in both these scenarios you have the center line of the road here this is the center line of the lane this will be the lane and this is the center line of the lane and this will be the hard shoulder this is somewhere outside the hard shoulder so we will be looking at what is happening in these two cases simultaneously so you can see in both cases the vehicle is running so this is seen as a driver eye height view so you can see what is happening here at the bottom image you can see once the obstruct obstruction is seen the vehicle is stopped if you can remember this stopped first and this stopped second that means this vehicle was seen later than this one so that means this is obstructed by these uh, objects so this side view is obstructed by these object, objects so if you view that again you will see it so they, they are started at same time this when the obstruct when the vehicle coming from the other side is seen this vehicle has traveled 17 seconds you can see it here and this vehicle has only traveled 13 seconds so that vehicle sees the object four seconds earlier than the first one that because that is because of these obstructions in this case you don't have any obstruction so you will see the objects closer to the inside of the road will be disturbing the side distance so these objects have to be placed outside the travel outside the uh, lane edge or the outside edge of the road but it would be at some distance where it will not be uh, disturbing the side distance in this equation we will be looking at how to uh, check the lateral offset for uh, road curves here you have the traveling vehicle this is the center of the uh, traveling path of that vehicle this is the obstruction this would be the line of sight offset so that one is given as o this length so this O equals R into 1 minus cos 28.65 S over R where S would be the stopping side distance and uh, stopping side distance or side distance and R would be the radius of the curve in the 
inside plane so that r is not the radius of the road curve but it will be the radius in meters at the center of the inside plane so this cos value 28.65 s into s over r so this cos value should be can calculated in decrease uh, when you are applying the equation then this equation is developed only for the situation we are side distance is greater than or less side distance is less than or equal to length of the curve so your side distance would be something like this your curve length would be greater than this side distance so if if it is at the other case or the side distance is greater than the length of the curve you have to graphically analyze this situation to find out the uh, lateral offset need to be uh, considered in the road curves so one more thing this equation is developed using road guidelines but in rda guidelines also we have a similar equation but kind of difference than this one uh, but it gives the same values but the equation is equation is different slightly uh, since this one is a more uh, easy equation than the rda guideline i have shown it here so you can directly calculate the lateral offset needed for a uh, vehicle traveling inside of the curve so that the obstructions will not be a problem to the side distance of that vehicle uh, same thing can be obtained from this curve also so that is about the lateral offset required for the horizontal curves inside road inside the roads so in this session we have looked at curve widening of roads and lateral offset of the curves uh, in the next session we will be looking at vertical alignment of the road